Today, I'm sitting at my old piano, which we bought in 1972. I don't know if you can tell, but it's got lots of little chips on it. And um, the back that holds the music is worn off because a lot of grandchildren practiced the piano on this for many years, and I'm happy that today that they played the piano. I wanted to read to you from day 22. It's called Have Patience. Now, that's not what gave me problems having patience. It was listening to all of those songs over and over and over and over again that beginners play, which are hard to listen to. Fortunately, my daughter taught the children when they were young and when they were beginners, and she was excellent at it. But anyway, today I wanted to read to you about Have Patience. Now, the first story comes from the book of Judges, chapter 2. It always fascinated me that this particular passage sort of gives an overview of the entire book of Judges. And by the way, a warning, the book of Judges is restricted. Um, I wouldn't recommend it to any child or anybody under the age of 45. But here is the outline of the, uh, book, the book of Judges. Then the Israelites did evil in the eyes of the Lord and served the Baals. They forsook the Lord, the God of their ancestors who had brought them out of Egypt. They followed and worshipped various gods of the people around them. They aroused the Lord's anger because they forsook him. In his anger, the Lord gave them into the hands of tra uh, raiders who plundered them. When Israel went out to fight, the hand of the Lord was against them. Ooh, I wouldn't want that. To defeat them, just as he had sworn to them, they were in great distress. Then the Lord raised up judges who saved them out of the hands of these raiders. Yet they would not listen to their judges, but prostituted themselves to other gods and worshiped them. They quickly turned from the ways of their ancestors who had been obedient to the Lord's commands. Whenever the Lord raised up a judge for them, he was with the judge and saved them out of the hands of their enemies as long as a judge lived, which was usually about a, a period of about 40 years. For the Lord relented because of their groaning under those who oppressed and afflicted them. That's why I just thought that was a beautiful story for have patience, because God is so patient. And Psalm 86 verse 15 says, But you, O Lord, are a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in mercy and loving kindness and truth. Then, Romans 2 verse 4, it says, Don't you know how wonderfully kind, tolerant, and patient God is with you? Does this mean nothing to you? Can't you see that his kindness is intended to turn you from your sin? Romans 2, 4. Now, um, Isaiah 30, verse 18. The Lord longs to be gracious to you, and therefore he waits on high to have compassion on you. For the Lord is a God of justice. How blessed are all those who long for him. I think that verse is so beautiful. That's from the New American Standard Bible, Isaiah 30, 18. Now, Romans 15, 5. Now, may the God of patience and comfort grant you to be like-minded toward one another. So he's patient, and now he wants us to learn how to be patient. I've heard a lot of people say, don't ever pray for patience because then you're going to have a whole bunch of horrible things happen to you. But I think that is portraying God as kind of a mean dad. I, what I have found is when I pray for patience and I ask for grace, he does give it to me. He helps me to be patient when I can't do it. So don't believe all those stories that make him out to be a cruel father. I mean, we're going to have a lot of problems in our lives anyway and a lot of opportunities to be patient. But if you're having trouble, just ask him for grace. Now, Ephesians 4, 1 to 3. Accept, accept life with humility and patience making allowances for each other because you love each other. Make it your aim to be one in the spirit and you will inevitably be at peace with one another. Colossians 3.12 As holy people whom God has chosen and loved, be sympathetic, kind, humble, gentle, 
and patient. Proverbs 16.32 Patience is better than strength. Controlling your temper is better than conquering a city. So God is patient and it's a beautiful characteristic that he wants us to have too.